righty. We'll call the meeting to order. We have a small agenda this evening. If anybody needs a copy, they're on the table. I know, I know John Cronin's coming. I saw him this afternoon. I saw him earlier, too, and he was going to try and make it here. Um, I'll ask if anyone's recording. Would they make it known? Thank you. Uh, first item is the approval of minutes for September 12th and November 9th. You had a chance to read them? I did just read them. Any comments on September 12th? I don't think so. Motions? It's in a motion to, to uh, sign the minutes for the 12th. Second. Motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I was looking for November 9th. Say what? I'm looking for November 9th. Why? Oh. I got it. I didn't read those yet. The November 9th ones are quite lengthy. I'm sorry? The November 9th ones are quite lengthy. Yeah, I didn't read them yet, Mr. Chairman. Do you want to wait until at the end of the meeting for that? Well, uh, yeah, we can do that. We have a very short one. Uh, next item on the agenda is a referral for Brittany Drive for street acceptance. Uh, Ken has drafted a letter for the recommendation if it's in your packet. Did, did the town engineer look into that uh, septic system that uh, goes under the road over to the vacant lot? Yes, apparently that never got built that way. He checked the Board of Health records and there was no construction underneath the or within the right of way. But when the applicant was here, he said it, that that's how it was built. Well, apparently it wasn't by Board of Health records. That's Mr. DeBona's subdivision, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh, I thought that got the previous, the original developer suggested that. Now, I don't think that ever got approved by higher powers like DEP and stuff like okay. that. I just thought that when Mr. DeBono was here, he, I thought he confirmed that that's how it was built. But I could be mistaken. I don't remember that. And it's been a long time, so. But I, I thought he said that one or two of the homes, because they didn't have enough upland with the wetland issues that they had to go across the way with a pumping station and have their leaching fields over on the other side where you, when you enter, it's a, uh, a field. I can, uh, if, if that's not drainage, stormwater drainage from the, uh, yeah. the road. No, they, they said. I can check with uh, Mario DeBono then yep. as to whether or not that was the case. Yeah. Uh, are these gentlemen <coughs> here for Brittany? No, no. no. <coughs> okay. Okay. Try part of the agreement. So we want to just confirm that and then uh, other than that, any other issues with the letter? <laughs> uh, 
That's fine. I just, I'm, I'm sure Mr. Raleigh did check on it, but for, for some reason I really think that uh, Mr. Demona did mention it, and I thought he said that it was constructed that way, but maybe he mentioned that it wasn't. I, I just know that it was originally proposed that way on the plan, so. Mm -hmm. Well, we, I have his, his contact information. We can confirm that. Okay. If you, we, this is due October 7th, <clears throat> by October 7th. Okay. So that becomes before the next meeting. So if you want to condition the recommendation on the basis of my confirmation with the developer. Okay. That's fine. All right. Thank you. And um, we could just make that issue part of the report because we could. We, right. They could still accept. But it needs to make sure it, we, it matches the Board of Health records. If it is, in fact, what they did, then we want to make sure that the Board of Health records are accurate. <clears throat> So, can I get a motion to recommend street acceptance for Brittany Drive with the caveat that uh, I'd, I'd make a motion that uh, we accept um, the letter as prepared by Mr. Buckland um, in reference to Brittany Drive and Jonathan Estates once um, we were able to confirm the situation with the septic system uh, going onto the road to the field on the right hand side can i get a second second <laughs> there was a second yeah. <laughs> second <laughs> uh, any further discussion hearing none all in favor aye opposed abstained thank you uh, next up, we have the continued public hearing of a Form C for 9 Cahoon Street, Melvin Golly Covenant Extension, which is what you gentlemen are here for? Yeah, we're neighbors, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Golly called in today, said he did get his, his signature from the, um, the, the financial company that's supporting him, but that he wants to uh, finalize the covenant, the Form F covenant, before submitting. So he wants to extend this again sure. until October 11th. <clears throat> yeah, we do. Um, we have the zoning articles and waterways. I thought we had to do the, I thought we had to do an interim date in between to get the town meeting articles in. They're on for the 11th? On for the 11th. Um, what was the decision on the, I don't remember the date that you put out there, in between Columbus Day and town meeting, we had to throw another date in. It was, it was supposed to be on the 10th. Oh. Our, our, <clears throat> our usual meeting dates in October are October 10th, which is the Columbus Day holiday, mm -hmm. and October 24th, which is the beginning of town meeting. So we went for the 11th instead? <clears throat> so we went for the 11th for the zoning articles. Okay. Okay. Could we postpone Mr. Gawley covenant extension until the 25th or whatever date that would be the 24th the 24th yes you could yeah. and, and I, we could post as we usually do post a meeting before a town meeting we've done it before yep yeah in the cafeteria right so what do you want to postpone it till November <clears throat> yeah. Why don't we just put it off till November after the town meeting? First meeting in November. Which would be November 14th, I believe. November 14th. Yeah. Want to do that? Okay. Okay. That's not Veterans Day, is it? 
Need a motion for that? No, Veterans, Veterans Day is celebrated on the 11th. On the 11th, regardless which is the of the date. Yeah. Right, Bob? <laughs> November 14th. So, did um, somebody make a motion? I make a motion that we extend <coughs> Form C 9 Cahoon Street. For Melvin Gawley, the covenant extension to November 14th, 2016. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstained? All right. Um, so we'll see you in November. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> His neighbors don't like them. All right. They, they, they're not, they don't party together. Last item is the minutes, Mr. Chair. Sure. If we can jump back into the minutes of November 9th, 
this, so the water whiz was supposed to be up for today. It's Bobby Mavilia, Mavilia, not Navilia. What? <laughs> it's an M, not Mavilia. an N. There's also a typing error. Are you looking for typing errors? No, I just saw her name was spelled wrong. Oh. There was one earlier. There's one I... word that should say sign, but it's sing. typed out sing.
A little bit of spell check. Motions? I don't uh, have a problem with them. I'd make a motion we accept the minutes of November 9th as written. Still reading. Just reading the Bay Point one at this point. a clean copy of this because I was writing on mine. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? My turn. Second. <laughs> second. Gotcha. Discussion. All in favor of approving the minutes of November 9th, 2015. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed? Were we all there? Staying? <clears throat> I'm staying. No. What's he doing? That makes up for us skimming over it. I do. That's why I do. Yeah. And if there's nothing further, entertain a motion to adjourn. 
I would. We give Bob a half hour show. <laughs> Are we going into executive session? Is there a need? Did you have more questions that were? I didn't know where we were on the mediation agreement. They're going to do what they wanted to. I think the only outstanding <coughs> issue was the construction of Bay Point Drive. question from the mediator came in as to the performance guarantee on Bay Point Drive asking when the construction should we go into executive session for a few moments just to discuss it and sure. share our opinions and then I will track my motion to adjourn did I, did I miss September 12th when I came in did you already yeah we yes. already done that Could we vote is, he asked. No, wasn't he second. He asked if the chairman would entertain a motion to adjourn. He didn't say I'd make a motion. Well, we're going to go to the second session. What was the other? What was that the only the question we had, or was there something else we talked about? From the back. From the back. That was the only three question. Three 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 mediator. Problem is, it's where do you blend it? Color is it black? Quick one. Piece is fresh. <laughs> Eight years old. It's been painted that long. Not no, yet. no, not, not currently. Okay. Um, regarding that one little clarification, do you feel that, that is something that needs protection under executive session? Yes. But, Yes. I didn't like the agreement. Hmm? I, I had a problem with the agreement. Well, okay. But I, maybe it's just me. Then I would look for a motion. Make a motion that we enter into executive session. And I'm not quite sure how to word it, but at adjournment. And not return to regular session? Not return to regular session. Thank you. For the purpose of discussing court audited mediation with Bay Point. Bay Point Country Club or Bay Point LLC, whatever. Yes. Say it again. Reason number three for going into executive session. Oh, it isn't actually, but my explanation is enough. Three is litigation. Um, I forget. Anyway, the uh, the explanation I gave is sufficient. So, so I will look for a roll call vote. Vote was it? Has that motion been seconded? Second. Mm -hmm. Michael. Yes. Mike. Yes. Yes for me, John. Yes. Bob. Yes. Good evening. Sorry we didn't do it five minutes sooner and got you out. That's all right. <laughs> You too. Hi, Bob.